Everyone is talking about the weight loss shot that makes hunger disappear. But did you know your body actually produces that same hormone naturally? It's called GLP-1. When your GLP-1 levels are high, the food noise in your brain goes quiet. You feel full and the cravings stop. And guess what? You don't need a prescription to get it. You just need to eat the right things. Today, we're showing you the top three food groups that naturally boost GLP-1 levels so you can stop cravings in their tracks. Let's dive in. Number one, protein. But specifically, protein eaten before carbohydrates. Studies show that protein is the most potent stimulator of GLP-1. Think eggs, whey protein, or fish. When amino acids hit your digestive tract, your L cells, the cells that make GLP-1, light up. If you are constantly hungry an hour after breakfast, you likely didn't have enough protein. Aim for 30 grams to get that hormonal spike. Number two is the long game winner, fermentable fibers. This includes foods like oats, barley, legumes, and onions. Here's the cool part. You don't digest this fiber, your gut bacteria does. When your gut bacteria eats this fiber, they produce something called short chain fatty acids. These fatty acids trigger a massive release of GLP one hours after you eat. This is what keeps you full between meals. Number three, monounsaturated fats, specifically avocados and olive oil. Fat digests slowly, but studies have specifically linked the fats found in avocados and nuts to higher GLP-1 secretion. It's not just about calories, it's about signaling. Adding half an avocado to your lunch can keep the hunger hormone ghrelin suppressed and GLP-1 high all afternoon. Before you go, here's a pro tip that makes all of this work two times better. It's not just what you eat, it's the order. Eat your fiber and protein first. Save the starches like rice or potatoes for last. This creates a mesh in your stomach that slows down sugar absorption and maximizes that GLP-1 release. Try it for one meal and you will feel the difference. Which of these foods are you going to add to your next meal? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more science-backed health hacks. See you in the next video.